All right, guys, here we go back in the backs and box in action. Undefeated Steven, 3-0 out of the blue corner. Jay Oz out of the red. Steven's got a five inch reach advantage. Let's see if uh, we're gonna be in Jab City tonight. Both gentlemen feeling each other out here, finding their range, finding their timing. Jay Oz with um, years of experience in him. Uh, is it uh, more important to kind of get working in early around one because you think the gas tank will be with Steven or you think he just got to see it and wherever the fight takes it? I think that it depends on where you are mentally, emotionally. That was a nice, beautiful <laughs> check hook there. We heard the pop. It was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> New and that's statement. finding your range. That's <laughs> right. finding your timing. Um, and especially they're early in their career. So they're uncertain. And you can see that right now in both of them fighting. They're uncertain of the outcome. They're uncertain whether they're going to land these shots. So you're kind of, it's a feeling out process. And there's no better learning lesson than live in the moment. This is so vital to your progression as a fighter and you know, you can do and say and be all of these things in the gym, but when you are in front of people under these bright lights, it is a very, very different narrative. Nice overhand right there by Jay. Doing a great job of getting right past that jab. Nice little body work here now by Steven. Steven has a nice jab, but it's there's not enough snap. He's got to snap it and... and he will find a, a lot more success if he just puts a little bit of jazz. Put a little pepper on that right, jazz, just right. a little pepper. Definitely didn't see, it seemed like it was the, the intensity was just a tad off. Didn't seem like it was a, uh, a fight. I think that it was because the, of the uncertainty for both of them. And towards the end, they started to kind of find themselves, but they're both clearly very young in their career and um, still figuring it all out. All right, here's the, uh, replays from the first round. That was a There's gorgeous check, check hook. That was the best shot of the round. I want to give a real quick shout out to NRG Consultants. If you need any solar uh, panels uh, problems, go to NRG Consultants today. Thank you for that. Hey, you know. <laughs> the check's in the mail, they say. <laughs> All right, guys, round two. The undefeated Steven out of the blue corner, Jay Oz out of the red, and here we go. I expect Steven to kind of pick it up a little bit here in round two. I had that jab, he just needs some pepper on it. He's got nice long strikes. He's young, you know he's athletic. And he, it, it, I feel like he's holding himself back a little bit, and he's just gotta let it go. You saw Jay there. Jay was uh, kind of making faces at Steven. Tell him, like, little, like, bring it. The tongue out. The tongue out. You got to love the tongue. That's effective, too. It is really, it's a, it's a ment some mental warfare. And we talked about this earlier, Dave. There's a lot of physical challenges. There's a lot of physical um, hurdles that you go through yeah. in the fight. But more importantly, it's the mental aspect and what's going on inside your head in these moments here. And the tongue out. That it can be demoralizing right, right. and it can be frustrating. And you have to overcome them. You have to overcome these moments of, of not allowing that opponent to really live in your head, live inside your head, to just sh shake it off and uh, aim for their tongue. We say it all the time. Let's just go to the uh, female UFC division flyweights. Every female is 126 pounds when they weigh in. You know, most of them are in the same height, right? The same range. But Valentina Shoshenko is, a, you know, the god right now, the go to the division. Sometimes just the mindset. Her mindset going into the fight is just unbreakable right now. She's undeniable. And sometimes this is what the fighters need to learn. It's the mindset. Get in their mind into this mode that they are unfreaking unbeatable. What I love about Valentina is her focus, the ability to zone mm. in and lock in on her opponent and her targets. And you're right, it's unshakable, it's unbreakable. 
Jay's and starting to throw a little bit here at the end of round two. He's got great forward pressure. Mm. Great forward pressure, and he's doing a great job with his sportsmanship here. He's, he's trying not to show that this fight is wearing on him, but as you see him go back to the corner, his hands are down, <laughs> yeah. he's breathing hard. It's, it's affecting him, yeah. but he's got a great poker face. You need a good poker face. Like Lady Gaga said, all right, guys, here's the uh, replay <laughs> of round two. It looks like Jay is in the driver's seat. Just definitely chasing him down, throwing more punches and bunches. Little great body shot there by Jay. All right, guys, we're going to round three. Brett Williams is yelling at his uh, his fighter, Steven, to like, let's go. <laughs> Talking about calves again, look at Brett Williams right there. <laughs> Owner and founder of uh, Island Fights, Dean Tool. Uh, he's going to give us a great outdoor team. Like, yeah, Pearl, Dave, you were unbelievable, but Dave, <laughs> knock off that damn calf talk, all right? No more of that. <laughs> all right, round three, guys, right now, Jay Oz in the red corner. Look, both, both fighters have heated this up. They're cooking now. In the telephone booth right now. Larry Downs, referee, letting him work. Jay's, the best technique and tools he has tonight is his pressure. Mm. That pressure is is key. <laughs> He's not really landing big shots, and, and of course the, the mental aspect of this game for him, the mental warfare, but it's it's his pressure. He, he's not really landing oh, too big many. big shot here by Jay. Yeah, shut me up, Jay, thank you. Big shot again. He's got him in his corner, throwing major shots here. I always thought it was so dangerous to come on the bounce back from the ropes. Because you're bouncing that. back into, you would think, strikes. I love bouncing back into the okay. into it okay. to land some strikes. But it's a momentum thing. You've got to be able to know how to utilize your momentum. God, the mental, the mind game here. He ends the fight. Oh, he didn't like that. Ref that Larry Downs ends the fight. Oh. Standing TKO? Wow, we'd love to. I'm unsure, I'm trying to figure out and listen. I don't know why he ended that fight. Do you know? I think he's telling, to. I think he told him multiple times to fight back, punch back, and he just didn't, kept on fight back. What? Both of them are DQ. All right, ref Larry Downs DQ'd both men, saying they weren't throwing like they should. It wasn't a legitimate fight. He said they were messing Ooh. around. And I don't. And he's not here for that. <laughs> he's here for fights. Okay. Wow. You know what? I I respect that man I, for that. I do. I do. And it's so funny to say this. I'm going to say this. So Larry Downs gave me something earlier, and he sent me a picture. He goes, "You can't have freedom without freedom." Larry Downs Jr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, okay. Shout out to Larry Downs. I thought Jay Oz was doing work there in round three, to be you honest. No, but the tongue out, his hands were down, he was taking shots and playing around, and he didn't like that. And, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. hats off to yeah. him because he, he said it. What I respect most from this, he said, they're not fighting. Right. And I'm not here for that. Wow. I'm not here to play. And I can respect that. Absolutely. Hey, Larry Downs has been a referee. He's been in this industry for a long, long time. And you don't disrespect dis the ring. Don't the do it. The, the thing is, is this is this is an, a blessing, right? This is an, an opportunity to come out here and, and test your skills and put some things together. You can play around in the gym any day of the week. Anytime you, they, both of these gentlemen can go home right now and play in the gym. But when you're in front of a live audience, you know, and you're you're under the bright lights. It's serious, and you can tell that he doesn't think it's a joke. So I respect that. Yeah, absolutely. I respect that a lot. It uh, takes a lot of work and effort to get inside this, inside of a ring and fight under bright lights. All right, here we go with the uh, results with Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Larry Downs Jr.
steps in and calls a halt to the bout at two minutes and 20 seconds of round number three. Disqualifying both fighters for failure to engage. 